All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2. Today, we will be playing as the Germans invading Great Britain during Operation Sea Lying, uh, an operation that uh, German High Command was trying to get accomplished um, to basically obviously bring England to its knees. I mean, it's kind of hard to fight a war when your country is invaded. And, uh, you know, you've left a lot of your equipment in Dunkirk, which the Germans wanted to, like, capitalize on that and then finally invade Britain. Now, obviously, as, you know, a lot of people hopefully know, uh, historically that never came that far. The Germans were held at bay by uh, their own fault, uh, first of all. They didn't have the expertise nor the amount of ships possible, or uh, they didn't have them available uh, to basically get men across the channel into England. They didn't have enough big ships to deal with the Royal Navy. Obviously, uh, the English Navy at that point being the strongest, like one of the strongest in the world, uh, probably together with France and Japan and the US. And in the end, the Royal Air Force, or the RAF, turned out to be a little bit too hard for the Luftwaffe to eliminate as easily as Göring had uh, basically promised. So a uh, combination of factors made that a little bit harder uh, than the Germans probably would have liked. Now we just called in some artillery. We do have an unending uh, like amount of it, as you can see here on these barges, these flak barges, which were actually a real thing, they're kind of crazy. Uh, these were used a lot off the Dutch coast um, to protect convoys and stuff. Anyway, we're, we're kind of going off, <laughs> uh, uh, sort of off topic here. Um, anyway, interesting. The invasion of Great Britain, Operation Sea Lion, and this is part of, uh, yeah, believe it or not, the Czechoslovakian uh, war model. So we got German Fallschirmjäger here being dropped behind enemy lines, trying to, uh, you know, sow disarray and, and, and annoy the, the British, if anything. But this is part of the Czechoslovakia at War mod, a really, really cool mod which came out just a couple days ago. It has 57, didn't count those myself, that's what the mod description says, 57 missions. Uh, a lot of them are as Czechoslovakia, uh, there's, but there's also a ton of bonus missions here. You're playing as Germans, you got Japanese missions, you got Soviet missions, you got like Chinese missions, you got Hungarian missions. If you want to play anything, uh, highly suggest you check it out. I guess the one downside to me personally is that it uses a lot of vanilla slash, um, you know, older skins, like less high quality skins, uh, you know, that aren't necessarily as good looking. I guess that's the one thing you can argue here. Uh, anyway, we have some Marines. I actually kind of forgot to tell you guys about this, but we have Marine Stormtroopers or Marine Stoßtruppen, which is kind of cool because I actually am not really sure who would have like charged the beach if that would have been German Marines like these guys, or if the actual, like, regular German Wehrmacht uh, would have, um, you know, assaulted the beaches. I'm actually not really sure about. So, interesting uh, to see these guys here as actual, like, I guess, Marine soldiers uh, here on the beach. But to try and take out... Enemy machine gunner. Please. MG... No! He's one health! Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's grab this MG. That's not the guy's MG, but we'll grab this one. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Ooh, actually, let's grab this guy's ammo. And drop the MP40 grenades. Our mortars are coming in. That sucks. Losing men left, front, center. We'll grab these things. Okay. So we took out that machine gun. Now I see one way of doing this. I see us charging forward here and taking cover there and these guys charging and taking cover here and hopefully between those two we can at least get rid of the majority of these guys. Alright, let's throw a anti-tank grenade at this bunker. Didn't really do anything. Alright, well, let's get in cover behind this one. We made it up the beach. We're off the beach and up the beach, I suppose. Now we have to try and deal with some units back here. What is this? Oh, it's just a broken gun. Okay. Maybe we can call in some heavy artillery here again. Our 88s back here are aiming and firing. And it's awesome because they are sort of shooting up. They're not coming from offshore. Well, they're not coming in an arc. They're just direct hitting the target. So we're waiting for another volley. 
Already in a fire one again? Is it just one shot? Oh. Is it just that was like a one time volley there, that really sucked. Alright, well, okay. Uh let's push these guys forward. MG, come on. And let's get uh this dude grenaded up here. Oh no! So cl oh god damn, that was so close. Alright, 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 right. right, right. There we go. No, you gotta be kidding me. All right, now I'm getting pissed. So obviously, um, I actually really wanted to make a, oh no. Oh God, I'm finally. I really wanted to make a Operation Sea Lion editor mission myself for a very, very long time, but I never got around to it because I'm not that good at the editor. I think that's something that I've said billions of times now. So it's getting kind of old to repeat it. Getting cover, getting cover. It's getting really old to repeat it, I suppose, but uh, it's still something like I'm not very good at the editor. I'm, I'm definitely not very well trained in the editor or like, oh crap, I got that guy. Um, but it, it's awesome that somebody basically made it for me so I could showcase it here today. Because I really, I'm really fascinated by the whole idea of alternate reality in World War II. Whether it's the Japanese invading um, America, or it's the Germans invading Britain, or it's the Germans invading America, or it's the Japanese invading the Soviet Union, uh, or uh, another one that's really good, I think, is the... Uh, can we get this guy? Okay, sweet. Another good one, in my opinion, that would be really cool. Oh, oh, wow, they have replacements for the... Bastards. They have replacements for the crew. God, okay, okay. Well, that's good to know. Another very interesting one, in my opinion, is Operation Unthinkable, which would be uh, the, if I'm not wrong, the... Um... God, I don't know, right? I guess we'll throw another grenade right here. Uh, which would be just after World War II ended, or the Germans were defeated, would be uh, uh, basically the Allies going up against the Soviets uh, because they realized that, you know, the Cold War is about to happen. We need to do something uh, to stop the, you know, Soviet aggression. Because obviously the Americans and the Allies in general, the British, the Americans, uh, they liberated the countries. You know, they went to the Netherlands, went to Belgium, they went to France, they went to Luxembourg. Um, they, they liber Italy. They liberated these countries and then they said, hey, well, we want you guys to have it back. Uh, the Soviets liberated the countries that they, you know, were owed by the Germans. Uh... Poland, uh, Hungary, you know, well, I guess Hungary wasn't owned by the Germans, but, you know, they, they liberated it in between brackets, and then they were like, you know what, we're going to install our own government in here. So, obviously, the Allies were not big fans. Oh, you got a melee and dude. No, the machine gun did a 360. What a bastard. All right, well, we've almost cleared that bunker, but this, is our, this isn't going very well for the assault force so far. But obviously, the, the Soviets were not really so big on liberating people and more just on gaining more territory for, I guess, more influence. Or, in the end, uh, they claimed it was a buffer zone. If Germany would ever do something like that again, they would have to go through more countries. Uh, and, you know, they would have to... Basically, they would have a longer sort of lead-up time. Uh, to try and stop the Germans in the future. Interesting little decision there by this guy to stand up out of the wall like that. I'm really annoyed that they keep getting... Like, this might be the last guy that they can get, though. So this might be worth throwing a grenade. That's a bad grenade. Wow. All right, let's grab this guy. This grenade. He's going to probably have one. We've cleared out the beach after this grenade. Perfect. Okay. Now, we have to clear, I guess we just have to clear, oh, we have to clear all of that? Hopefully we get some reinforcements, otherwise it's going to be really hard. We do have artillery available, so let's actually use it right there. 88s, fire. That was sort of close. Another, okay, another wave coming in this time. They didn't do anything ever again. This uh, 93 mil is uh, engaging aircraft flying over. Okay, another... Okay, so good thing it's their like angle and attack is really low. Okay, we at least we took out the big gun. I think that was my main issue there. So we took out the big gun. But obviously there's a ton of guys in this trench, but we can we can deal with that. We'll have to figure out a way to deal with it, but we can't. All right. So That's empty. There's guys in these trenches. 
That's actually really cool. I like this little sort of higher trench part right there. Now, these guys are a lot of ammo. Or a lot of them are, anyway. There's a little machine gunner in his bunker. Let's take him out. Alright, that bunker is clear. Now our machine gun here. So lurking over some of these guys as we said to two MP40s to reload and charge forward. I mean, they are stormtroopers after all. And then three, two, one, grenade and uh, oh, that's an enemy grenade. Run, 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 run. Oh, they threw a grenade back. They threw it one right back at us. That's crazy. All right, this Bren gunner's out of ammo. But what's up, buddy? I'm so sorry. This is an execution now. Okay, we've cleared another part of the beach. I'm hoping we get reinforcements at some point, otherwise it's going to be really hard for us to clear. Sir, alright, thank you. And then... Okay, we gotta go for a heal up here. I guess while we're waiting for these guys to be healed up and stuff, um, we might as well talk about what's happening right now. So, uh, yeah, the Mandalorian, am I right? If anyone has any interest in Star Wars, holy shit. That is such a good show. If you haven't watched it and you've gotten to this point in the video, um, highly suggest you go watch The Mandalorian after this, I guess, video is over. Because, holy crap, it is the best thing Star Wars has produced since Rogue One. Uh, here, uh, I guess that has nothing to do with the video, but I figured I'd just give my opinion. I am a big fan of Rogue One. I think it was a really good Star Wars movie. I think that... Solo was a pretty decent movie. It wasn't the best Star Wars movie ever, but it best, definitely was a decent Star Wars movie. Um, but yeah, Rogue One was great. And uh, let's all agree that Star Wars episode uh, 7 and 8 were meh. I think 7 was okay. 8 was just flat out not very good. All right, we got... Let's move up our guys, though, while we're talking about this. Anyhow, long story short, definitely 10 out of 10... Would recommend Mandalorian. Uh, the way that they're working on it right now is fantastic. And I got to say, if they continue uh, the direction that they have with episode one, I can see this being a really big thing. Like, uh, this is, might be a weird question, right? And obviously, this is kind of going off topic. But, you know, we're just kind of eliminating some, some stragglers here. So I don't think it really requires a lot of brain capacity at the moment. Uh, one thing that is really weird to me is like, do you think George Lucas and Spielberg and everyone who worked on Star Wars at the time, do you think that they knew what Star Wars could be? You know, when they... That's that a, that might do its job. Oh. Like, do you think they had any clue what Star Wars is going to be? Or do you, like, do you think they had any sort of knowledge about... Well, not knowledge, but like, do you think they had any idea? Really, dude? You're still not gonna die from that do you reckon that they knew that they were working on something that was gonna be so big in like you know 50 years from well 40 to 50 years when was star wars like what 77 was episode one so that's what plus 30 basically 40 years later am i right 40 years later and people are still talking about star wars still a really big thing that's why i'm wondering like i don't know it would be interesting to think about if they knew how big it was going to be. And obviously, it's interesting to think about it right now. Do you reckon that in the year... Um, let's add another 40 to our year right now. Do you reckon in the year 2060, when I'll be very old, I'll be 65 years old, uh, I believe. In the year 2060, do you think that people are going to be talking about... Uh, stuff right now like Game of Thrones is a very good example I think well besides maybe the last season <laughs> uh, Game of Thrones is a very good example I think of a show that people are going to talk about decades from now whether it's uh, for a good reason like you know the actual show or whether it's for a bad reason you know hey guys this is how you should never ever ever end a, a show again oh we get some Reinforcements, so this is a bit bugged. Uh, no, wait, well, why did it bug out like that? Let's grab these grenades if we can. All right, so we got some stugs. Not sure how useful those are going to be. They're just like short barreled stug threes. Anyhow, uh, let's drive them off the ridge. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is 
do you reckon that in 40 years from now the Mandalorian is going to be as ex like as as popular as Star Wars is nowadays? It'd be interesting to see because obviously, you know, in 40 years from now, Star Wars Episode Four is going to be 80 years old, which, to put that into perspective, is basically as long ago as World War II is today, which is just I know that's not exactly right. I don't want to do the exact math right now. I'm sure I could think of it if I gave it two seconds, but you get the point. It, it, it's going to be really old. So it's going to be interesting to see how people are going to, uh, you know, think about Star Wars, and especially in this case, The Mandalorian, because I think it's such a good show. I've only watched episode one. The thing is, uh, they're releasing it with one episode every week, and um, it's going to be, I can only hope, as popular as uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars, because obviously they've just renewed that for a new season coming on Disney+. Plus. This all sounded like a giant ad. I, I promise it's not. I would have to, like, legally tell you if it was. But uh, it's okay. It's okay. We can stop talking about Star Wars now, I suppose. There's other matters, matters at hand. 25 pounder here. Tons of infantry there. Uh, 25 or so, 6 pounder right here. Uh, obviously, our German allies, our Fallschirmjäger, have actually captured a six-pounder here. That's awesome. It's actually really cool. But they're kind of stuck right now back here. So how about we, I suppose, hit something like back there. Artillery! Open fire. I guess these Stugs came on this thing right here, right? Oh, that was pretty good. All right. Uh, okay. Is that that was it? Okay, well, I guess they fire once and then they don't fire again. And then there's a bug where they might fire again. Anyway, that's all HE. There's mines over here, obvious by the sign. So let's take out some of these positionen. Now, what's shooting at me here? It's just a rifleman shooting at me. I don't know. Okay, well, we took out the crew on that 25 pounder, which means we pr probably not kill it so that we can use it later and then i we got this entire squad right here we got a stug over here we can actually load an he shell take out i suppose some of the guys standing right here and then we'll use our infantry mainly that was kind of a bad shot okay there's only two guys left here so let's just charge this and then like i said they are marine stostropen uh which you know they are stormtroopers so they're used to charging ahead all right, grenade out. Good grenade. Okay, we captured a trench. Get in. Okay, that's actually good. We we managed to make some ground. Now the thing is, wow, that was a bad, like, bad accuracy on that. Thing is, this thing doesn't have a machine gun, so we are gonna have to rely on purely its HE power. That's a pretty good shot. It's shooting at me right now. Is it? These things aren't shooting. Okay, it's just a rifle it's shooting at me or a sniper. But... Can this guy not come any closer? I don't want to have to shoot him with HE, but. Come here. Come here. <laughs> there you go. That was very effective use of ammo. Uh, well, considering I used no ammo. There is probably some guys with AT grenades. We can worry about that later. Just don't get too close. A little bit right there at the back of the trench. Perfect hit. Actually, really perfect. Another shell closer would be great, right there. Ah, well, we got one. And then, is this... A, this is a 10-man team. Let's get these guys to prone out. A lot of shell right here. This could be kind of hard. No, that's perfect. Wow, could not have wished for anything better for that. Alright, heal up. And then, what are these other two guys doing? Did they just die? Oh, there's mines. Damn. Got back out of here. Didn't realize there was mines over here. That sucks. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to get around between the bunkers. Let's get this way. And I guess we'll use this one man who's still alive. Oh, he's under heavy fire though. Get in the trench. All right, we made it, that's one. Okay, good. Now ammo and grenades and drop our smokes and get the health. And we're down to just uh, Philip Hellman, who is now clearing trenches by himself with nothing but an MP40. Good grenade, not gonna be able to escape. Oh, the Stug takes out that member of the, uh, I guess, home army. That's what you'd be dealing with here. And I'm trying to kind of consolidate my men. Obviously, I lost some of them right there. That was really stupid. I didn't know there was mines here, too. If there was a sign, I definitely didn't see it, so I must have run over it or something. More artillery available. It seems like there was a bishop back there. It was going to be annoying to deal with. Hit this uh, line in the back again. It'd be nice if we could get... Ooh, we hit the turret of that Crusader. Looks like it might have messed the turret up considering it's not... Yeah, that's a good hit. Now, I can only hope that we get access to some more infantry or maybe some heavier vehicles. Considering this might be pretty rough otherwise. Artillery, taking out one or two more guys. Think of one more wave. No, that's it. Okay, well, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Uh, let's move our Stug, or Stur Stug, Stug, Sturmgeschütz, so it'd be Stug, I think. That was a really dumb grenade. Damn it. Alright, HE is obviously very so-so in uh, not, like, Robs or Valor or GSM, so you have to kind of directly hit infantry, I feel like, more or less. It's honestly a gamble to me where the actual damage is sometimes. That's a perfect hit. It actually could not have been much better than it was. Let's throw a grenade like right here. Should probably take out the guy behind the... Wow, I can't believe he's not dead from that. Well, now he is. But now I waste another shell of HE. However... Easier job for us would be, or easier thing for us would be, if we captured that 25 pound on the right. Because it would definitely allow us to. Oh, no. What? Why would you put mines on the road? Why would you put mines on the road? You absolute bastards. Okay. Hmm. I'm assuming that when we get to the Fallschirmjäger, the remainder of the Fallschirmjäger will become under our control. But they're obviously trying to sort of Sudoku themselves over here, and I don't know why. But at least we'll have access to the more oh, this the Leichtschutz, which is basically, if anything, it's a horizontal firing mortar. If I'm not wrong, it's basically what it is. And but it has X to heat rounds in real life. The six pounder, like about a squad and a half of Falschmager, but they are sort of messed up a little bit because of the way they've been going around. I think if we go around here and we'll go around the right. Like, we'll rotate. Can we see that six pounder from here? All right, three, two, one, fire. I love this one because it does fire in a pretty decent arc. So it will doesn't have to be a direct, direct hit. Oh, look at that. We actually rescued these German Fallschirmjäger. They're not able to push up after I killed the uh, six pounder for them. And now, sort of old-fashioned, tried-and-true tactic of men of war, which is to flank the men in the trench, and they can't do anything about it. Because if they would charge you, I mean, obviously they don't don't they don't know if this thing has a machine gun and not IRL. So it'd be really scary to be up against this thing, uh, especially when it's like flanking your trench like this. Though realistically, I'd assume that most of these men would probably be surrendering uh, after this happened, but. Who knows? We're about to make contact though with these Fallschirmjäger, which would be good. No, get down, get down. There we go. Perfect. All right. What's left over here? All right, that's more further down. So let's uh, load up the Ichi, which we sucks with that stug. I mean, the thing is, we can probably take the ammo out of it at some point later, but. 
Wow, that sucks. Can't believe you missed. Alright, let's get closer. SMG, no. As long as we're not SMG infantry, we're good. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty, pretty good. We'll do one more of those. We'll run in my SMG men. And he'll be able to clear this trench. Hold fire. Grenade out. And we're good to clear the rest of this by grabbing some ammo. Guess not from that guy, not from that guy. We've been grabbing all the guys who don't have any ammo. SMG infantry, we need to get some AT, more medic, more ammo. Down, and grenade. Oh crap, oh that was actually a good one. And we'll do that again. And that pretty much did I hit him? Okay, that clears this trench. Heroic German or her heroic effort right there. Now, hopefully, this isn't mine in the middle. I'd be pretty annoyed if it is. I mean, the Brits have to get through somehow. You can't just absolutely mine everything because then how the hell do you get your guys back? Or how the hell do you feed them? Are you going to just airdrop uh, food and water around people and hope that they never have to leave the their, like, defenses? Uh, let's hit... Well, we took out that one. Let's hit this one. It'd be nice to take out this Crusader. I think this might just be one single volley. Because I think it's a bug where it fires once and then it doesn't fire again. Uh, this one. So we have to kind of hold on right now. It'll be fine. It'll be good. That's actually a, a lot of firepower, though, so... In a, three minutes, we'll do that again. We'll hopefully take out this Crusader over here, over there, over here. Um, we'll make it a little bit easier for us to do our job. Now we have to take out the infantry on this gun. That's not even close. Be really going to take out these six pounders before we load around of HE. So come on. No. Couple of rounds left. We gotta start hitting in here soon. No, nope. I guess you're just really bad. I'm also surprised it's not really firing back at us. Or our last round of HE. Then we'll have to try and get to the other stug. Which, oh lord, good, 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 good. Now the question is, can we get to the other stug, or is it going to be completely? Any, any, hopefully no mines. Okay, we're good. Lord, I was just kind of scared there. No, no, no joke about that one. I said SMG infantry. It's so hard. There you go. And we'll grab some more ammo. All right, good, 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 good. Now, we do have a lot of ammo. We do have this entire squad right here as well. I set them up and start working over these men on this trench line. No, why are you pushing like that? Get in here. All right, good. Now, while they're obviously heavily engaged, we'll push up our hero of the day, Philip Hellman, who's going to throw two perfectly placed, placed frag grenades into their trench system to sow disarray and confusion and then we throw in ourselves right after that red AT grenade no Hellman is down okay well he was the hero that Germany requested and you know it was they, they, it was given MP40 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 all right the rest of them stay behind we'll do three boys in the uh, honor of Philip Hellman get right here Throw one, throw two. I said throw them, you idiot. Go down, go down. Why are you standing there? Oh man, you suck. But the one time I don't micro my guys and then they just become actually brain dead. It's okay though, we're clearing the strength. Minimal losses so far, it happens. 
It's really brutal to hit these guys with like literally 32 rounds before they go down from like 19 meters away. Okay, well anyway, we are taking him down, but it's taking us all of our ammo. It's okay though, it's okay. Okay, got this guy's ammo and stuff. Make sure we get our guy's helmet back. And grab all of this guy's equipment. But get down, but get down before we die. Make sure we heal these guys up. And artillery is ready, which means da, 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 fire away. And coming. Come on, hit the Crusader. A lot of firepower coming in. Taking down one or two of their guys in the trenches. Took out this machine gunner. And it might have been taken down already by the paratroopers, or who knows. Ah, close, no cigar. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, God. So close. Another wave of rounds incoming. Nope. Close, but no cigar. All right, we're now able to clear out the final bastion here on the second line of defense. Really sucks that we lost that Stug, but... All right, good, we've done it. Do we get any reinforcements for that? Or is that just like a good job, now don't die again kind of deal here? Can we get to the Stug without losing men to mines? It'd be interesting. So, no reinforcements, uh, kind of disappointing. It's not a lot of reinforcements. I'd expect it to get a little bit more than that. Now the question is, could we drive my Stug up to it? Because those mines could have been placed in a weird way. That's a lot of HE. It's almost worth doing it. The thing is, I don't want to do it manually, so we're going to just drive over there and hope that we don't lose the Stug. because it's like the entire premise of this attack is based on the Stug surviving or not. I don't know. Why did you push like... Oh my god, did you see that? We pushed the... See? We're using the Stug right there as sort of a minesweeper uh, in, in a weird way, but it worked out, I suppose. All right, let's get you out of here. Stay on the road. Do not go in that grass. We don't know what's there. I believe they... Oh, they did not reman the gun. That's good. When we do end up taking out the infantry... Uh, ooh, that's good. Good hit. When we do end up taking out the infantry around here, which is there, we just eliminated all the AT guns. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy objective. Okay. We have to meet up with the Falchion Mager here soon, which will actually be right after we clear out the final enemies that are uh, stuck around these guns. I can't set this back to fire at will, not that it really matters, but... Okay. Hello there, boyo. Boyo. That's really brutal. Sweet. Alright. Now, let's meet up. Hopefully, we can either make contact with them or somehow uh, acquire them. I believe if you get close to them, you might be able to get that little hand symbol, which means you can grab them. It'll be part of our team or part of our force. Let's get close enough to them that we can do that. Doesn't seem like it's a thing. All right, well, not doing that today. So, uh, okay, that's definitely a no. Our howitzer can lob a perfect shell though. On that 93 mil, look at that. We did I can't actually, you know what? I'm not, I was going to say a word, shouldn't say it because YouTube will catch up on it. Also, I totally missed the pronunciation of the word, but you know what I was trying to say. And if I would have said it, YouTube might be like, hey, that's not family friendly. Now, kind of afraid of what's here. Yeah, I don't want to do what I'm doing here. Let's get around back and then use the, do this the smart way around. Get to the paratroopers. Oh, there's actually an objective. Okay, let's get to them then. Hey, chief. We have reached the destination. Artillery's ready. It's, like the, it's only one salvo this time, so let's fire this one round. And there we go. No, no, no hit, no hit. Okay, we got to the paratroopers. Which means we just got access to the couple of dudes that are here. They do have a six-pounder, which is awesome. 
uh, we do have this IGH or like a shoot, so I don't really see a point in having that at the moment, I don't think. Though turning this around and shooting the Crusader would be good. If we can hit it from where we are, I think we can. Interesting. Let's hold off. I'm moving up my student shoots. There we go. Well, that was fast. Uh, Fallschirm Jaeger. Welcome aboard the team. We'll dismount the Leica shoots here soon. I don't really see an actual point in having it for much longer. I mean, it's meh at most, and I have bigger fish to fry. However, are these a militiamen or they're just regular infantry actually? Oh, wait, we're actually, we flanked, I didn't realize these are all false Mega right here. We just totally flanked these guys and they're, uh, they're obviously now in between my Marines, uh, the Sturmgeschutz and the, uh, is there any machine gun right here? That's one, that's one good question. What kind of ammo are these, uh, weapons do these guys have? Oh, no MGs, okay, that sucks. Let's get them linked up with the rest. There we go. And these two... We're trying to repair, but whatever. MG, I guess we're gonna just have to grab you an SMG or something. Oh, there's one, there's one right here. I feel like, weren't we, wasn't this guy initially an SMG guy? Wait, uh, wrong side. There. I feel like this guy was an initial SMG guy and then we gave him the uh, MG34 because we needed an MG gunner. Now he's going back to his roots. That's interesting. All right, we'll frag this position right here. Enough frags. They won't, do, they won't know what to do. Look at that. Look at the. Oh, it's like, oh, it's all coming together now. Sweet. All right, good. Repel counterattack. That's not something I was hoping to do. Um, okay. That's not good. We need to get this set up then. Counterattack. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's repair this Crusader and have. If we can get into the Crusader, it'd be really good. If we, in the meantime, could disable their bis or not bisons, oh my god, we could disable their bishops, that's the word. Is there any big guns in there? Okay, it's just the uh, bishops and some machine guns. Artillery is ready though, we could call it in on the middle here. Let's try to do some damage, why not? Probably need to load APCR, maybe it works better. I don't know, we can kill this bishop with what I'm trying to do here. Doesn't seem to be doing anything to the bishop. And the artillery is also heavily missing. That was a hit. Didn't really, again. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Now it's firing back at my... This is like the, the battle of the shitty like unkillable tanks like, it's hard to explain you know what i mean like they can't kill each other they cannot kill each other all right let's get you out of here then run away and then we'll put a crew of one two three four current eight guys in there and we cannot repair this one which does suck a little bit we could repair that. We have to just charge forward here. This might be worth it. Charge! Let's go! Okay, was it the cleanest charge? No. Was it worth it? We lost three men. They lost a lot more than three. And if we can get to this Crusader before the 
uh, actual sort of like defense starts here. Come on. Take him down. Nice. Okay, good. Let's repair. Oh, it's it's even repaired. They repaired it for us. Um. Can I not turn you around? Let's get the two guys out of this thing as well. And put them on... Oh, no. The Tetrarchs? That's a little bit... Isn't that, like, super late war? Oh, we took down two of these Tetrarchs, I think. Or we managed to mess them up, at least. The turn this might be broken. Oh, it's not broken. They just weren't on board. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there goes the half track. Is that this Stug firing? Oh, that's good. I don't think it's going to do much damage, though. Okay, well, this B uh, BESA machine gun is like my favorite machine gun in Men of War. It's so good at taking out enemies. So it's firing fire so fast. Well, I want to thank the British for giving us access to their tank. Uh, oh, Daimler. No. No. No, a Valentine? That might be really hard to defeat. Let's get out of here. For right now. Let's turn his machine gun around, I guess. Get the guys down. Um, planes coming in. Those better be Falschimager planes, or I guess they're Stukas. Okay, they're gonna bomb the shit out of the road, I hope, because we need some desperate support. Alright, there they're coming. They're bombing the trenches, they're bombing stuff. We got artillery going in on the right side. Oh, we tracked the Valentine! It's pretty much all we can do there. It's all we can hope for, but it did work out. Six pounder, it's gonna have to be ours. Let's push our guys in the right. We two okay, those bombs took out the bishops, which is perfect. This crusader here. I totally forgot about that one just for a second. We'll push it up. As well as the Marine Stostropin. And then we'll push forward the six pounder, which we have acquired. And then we'll use the last eleven shells to try and clear up the trenches here. Alright, boys. I'm trying to get too close so we don't get fragged. If we can do this though. This has been like a trying to true tactic, right? Of what we're to. That was a stupid idea. I don't know why I did that. That was really stupid. I might have lost a brain cell doing that actually, or I might have lost my own brain doing that. Took out the half track. That's important because that could be a really strong. Uh, Vehicle considering the 50 cal now it's disabled and uh, they are getting out of it Valentine taken down Which means we can this guy stand up This is very bad Vickers, okay Pushing forward Crusader let's get you going left Actually, there's a lot of enemies over here. That was a bit stupid the way I lost that, um... Very stupid way I lost that Stug. It was really dumb. It's okay, though. We'll clear out the remaining forces here. Our Falschimager have pushed... Our friendly Falschimager have pushed up. And we can push up to the rock. As we are going to be double repairing. I said double repair it. Let's go. This machine gun does no damage. It's tickling this man. Oh, there we go. It tickled him to uh, his final moments. Now let's do some running around with this Crusader. Uh, we'll shoot some guys. Good thing here is that we have artillery ready relatively soon. 
clear out the left side here. Anyone else? That should be about it there. So let's turn this one around. And then we could also even repair this Valentine, I think, to just make shorter work of the enemies that are around here. Uh, that might not be the best place to be, but all right. Falschmeger, one on each. So we'll have this this Falschmeger madness, and we'll push our Valentine. Start working on some of these guys in the trenches. The BESA just doing a fantastic job. I think we have actually have. Oh, we have to have a coaxial. I thought this thing would have a, a hull mounted as well. There we go. BSA doing just a lot of damage. A lot more than the MG34s did. Like, look at that. That's like some Rob's mod damage right there. Now we can finally push in and secure the area. Vehicles are being repaired, which must be the ones back here. So we can actually uh, jump into this Valentine, or sorry, Crusader, not Valentine. Call an artillery back here. Get the men off of it. Get him on this thing. I can see all your artillery covered it already. And we'll jump him on board. No, do not throw that grenade. And we are clearing out the entire map. And it's actually been a very entertaining mission. I thought this was going to be a little bit different. I expected a little bit more large unit tactics versus uh, the smaller, you know, trying to keep your guys alive stuff. But very entertaining mission. I definitely had fun. If you guys want to check it out, I will link it in the description. Like I said, it's part of a larger uh, pack with a lot of missions. So definitely worth checking out. If this one doesn't interest you, maybe necessarily, there is definitely a lot more than just this one to come check out. We are clearing up the uh, British defenders here on the beach. As, uh, or just beyond the beach as we are pushing in our stolen equipment thanks to the Falschmjäger in no small part who definitely helped secure a victory uh, if not uh, due to their initial presence and definitely due to capturing the Valentines and the Matildas and the tank that we cannot get into even though we repaired it. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was an excellent mission. Uh, perfect length. Perfect difficulty. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's awesome. Cheers.